Mullen again. Mallow on the corner. Those two just playing back and forth. Mallow has to avoid a check. Leaves it off again for Mullen. Cycles it over to the other side. Now Jenkins comes back to Mullen behind the net. Going to Jenkins in the corner. Snaps it across. Mallow sets. Fires and scores! Sean Jenkins feeds Steve Mallow. And the sophomore from Saunders Town, Rhode Island, puts the Hawks up 1-0 on the power the play. Check. And Zabka takes possession. He gets run down by Higgins. Hyslip lets it go through. Mallo now one-on-one -on -one the other way. Mallo goes left. Wrist shot, score! Oh, Steve Mallo with the snipe. Beats Dizgan high to the left side. Beat the defender, Sam Torney, as well. And it's 2-0 Hawks. Just pure skill. Second goal already for Steve Mallo, who is one of those hybrid players that Ed Cini can play anywhere. He's listed as a defenseman. Injuries have allowed him to play along the front line, and how about the skill set? Takes off, got a step on the defender here on the near side wing, sizes up the goaltender, and beats him over the right shoulder, top shelf for the goal. Beautifully Williams done by Now Mark. moves it around. Jenkins again onto it. Zapka out to the point. Pascal holds, moves off the line, a snapshot, save Dizgan, rebound around, Mullen scores! A diving effort by Tucker Mullen, he puts it past Dizgan and makes it 3-1 St. A's. Second period. Alex Pascal retrieves the puck from Kang in his own end, a minute 10 left on the roughing the goalie penalty. McKillop kicks forward into the blue line, McKillop a wrist shot and just wide of the net, Kang back in front, McKillop scores! McKillop started it all with the rush. The initial shot went wide. Tim King gets the rebound. A nifty little backhand feed in front, and McKillop bangs it home to make it 4-2 Hawks. Yeah, that's what I took from that play as well. The ability of Tim, of Tim King to not only think and react on the fly, but to execute flawlessly in the process. I mean, that's a tough play to make for the junior tri-captain. Behind the net saw that the bounce went his way, immediately knew where his teammate McKillop was, still out in front of the crease, goes with the backhand to set him up, and McKillop able to do the rest. Second goal in as many nights for the freshman from the Big Apple, and the Hawks once again retake a two-goal lead. Yeah, Holly Six. picks it up at his own blue line. Hawks very effective here now as McKillop brings it back on. McKillop winds up, wrister blocked down, McKillop backhand, shot, score! Dizgan couldn't control the rebound. Liam McKillop takes advantage, and that makes it 5-2 St. A's. And that could be the nail in the coffin, so to speak. McKillop following his own shot. I know that's an original basketball term, but it applied there as McKillop let it fly from the near side wing. And then untouched, unhindered. Went right to the crease, found the rebound, had the presence of mind to switch to the backhand and up over the diving goaltender for the score, leading to the St. Michael's timeout. So on real quick here because yeah. they need goals, and they need goals soon. Yeah, and they had their opportunities in this third period. Hawks had a couple of penalties. However, the penalty kill unit proves Richard it scores! McKillop set him up, and Richard picks the high corner. Make it 6-2 St. A's. Three points now for McKillop. And Richard set the whole thing in motion by blasting Torney to start out the shift. And shoved to Eric Zapka and an easy call for the referees to make. Just making a bad situation worse. You're down 6-2, biggest margin of the night, and now you're shorthanded as well. Richard in front to King, who puts one on that rebound loose. King gets it to Richard. A wrist shot blocked down, and a rebound score. That's McKillop, and that's the hat trick. <laughs> Yeah, talk about a sneaky goal there. He surprised even himself, perhaps. Certainly, Dizgin is realizing that this game has turned into a nightmare. McKillop behind the fray. Again, the Hawks with the e extra skater after the unnecessary penalty a moment ago. And it's time for Dizgin to hit the showers here with 6.52 to go. on the backhand, five seconds, four. Higgins leaves it off. Jangro centering pass. A shot as Jangro takes it behind the play. And both sides are going to head off here, wary of each other, I think. But we're not going to see anything more. St. Michael's will head to the locker room. They fall here today at Sullivan Arena, a 7-4 win for St. Anselm. Headlined by Liam McKillop, four points, a hat trick. Steve Mollo, two goals as well. And really, uh, in an offensive showdown, the Hawks end up coming away uh, with the victory.
With men's ice hockey player Ryan Holly after today's victory over St. Michael's College. Ryan, talk to us about your senior day today. Uh, it was an interesting game. Uh, I thought the guys played really well. Um, pretty honored to uh, be the only senior on this team. Uh, it's a little weird not having any classmates, but uh, the guys played hard tonight. Um, they got a little chippy, but everybody kind of stuck up for each other. Um, it's important. We try to keep our class as much as we can, um, obviously. But uh, when it gets like that, everybody kind of pulls together and sticks up for each other. We're here with Liam McKillop after today's victory over the uh, Purple Knights of St. Michael's College. Liam, talk to us about your hat trick. First career hat trick. Yeah, it was a good day. You know, we started off as senior night for Iron Hollow. We all wanted to get the win for him. Uh, it was usually, it wasn't with my old line, the GQ line, but I had some new line mates, uh, Mike, uh, Mike Richard, Tim King. We played well together. Ryan Holly, now it's basketball too, so it's a good day.